Hi, welcome to this tutorial on PCB designing. So here I'm going to tell you, I'm going to, we are going to discuss about how to design a PCB from a schematic diagram. So in the meanwhile, we also need to know about what is a schematic diagram. So what you see on your screen here is this, uh, this is a five volt power supply schematic diagram here we have a connector a transformer the bridge rectifier the filter the regulator and then the filter again and then the indicator led and here we get the output of 5 volt so from a output of a transformer to the output of the power supply we have this as a ac to dc converter and then the filter and the regulator everything over here and we get our 5 volt power supply so how do we go to actually designing a PCB uh, so in this software the this is a PCB designing software and we have designed this schematic in this after designing the schematic actually we go to the PCB layout and design the PCB of it so we will go step by step first designing the schematic and then designing the PCB so let me start first with uh, another blank screen so that uh, we actually know how everything is done so let me first uh, actually start with this one the connector so we have one connector over here so we will add one connector to this button this menu comes up and we can write a two pin connector yeah this will suffice this is the two pin connector and this is it it's pcb layout how it will be visible on the pcb layout so this one is fair enough we can use this one so once this it has come over here we can click on the blank screen and the component comes up um, we can zoom in and out using the scroll option and uh, on right clicking it we can change its ori orientation so we are going to build up the circuit in this horizontal way so we are here we have ori oriented it in this way the second is now a bridge rectifier it is w04g so we will go and type bridge and take this model so this is a circular model of the pcb layout and this is the bridge schematic model we will ok it and uh, use it over here okay then the next thing is the filter capacitor 470 microfarad so now we will select another capacitor so actually we have over here is a capacitor active model but it doesn't have a PCB package so we are going to try another keyword for example 470 microfarad in the capacitors in we have we consider radio radial electrolytic and in this we will have 470 microfarad somewhere down there there it is so this is a 470 microfarad radial electrolytic capacitor 
according to the PCB layout also we can see that and we can use it here we will position them accordingly so that they can be used efficiently and more easily readable by the user then the next thing we have is a regulator 7805 so we will pick up a 7805 So yeah, I have placed the 7805. Now the next thing is uh, again a capacitor that is 10 microfarad. So 10 microfarad capacitor we can again look up, look up in here. So this is a 10 microfarad radial capacitor. We'll select it and place it over here. and now we have uh, left with us only this resistor and this diode so a generic resistor can be used and in series with it a red LED. We will search for a LED in the diodes. So it has many results. We will type red LED. Yeah, red LED. So this is the red LED. Now we have all the components over here. Now only thing is remaining to connect these components so the connection you can see over here it is the first connection comes over here the second connection goes over here this is a bridge rectifier and we need to connect uh, the AC terminals the AC thing so one terminal will go here the other will go over here then we have this one as the positive terminal connected to the positive of the capacitor negative to the negative of the capacitor the ground of the 7805 to the negative of capacitor and the first one to the positive this output is given to this one positive of the capacitor so that it filters it out and then the remaining connection goes like this we have the resistor in series with the output in series with the LED so that it can give proper indication if the power supply is on or not so actually this value is 330 And also we need to give proper layer terminals to this for example a power terminal that will actually tell us what this indicates and a ground terminal to show that this is the ground actually so we connect the that VCC to here and ground to ground so we have our schematic diagram complete now once we have a schematic diagram complete we can move on to the PCB layout so here we have a diode not assigned a component so it is ask asking us now that it has not been assigned a footprint actually everything that a component in the schematic is there there is a symbol for it and in the PCB part the corresponding symbol is known as footprint so that's why it is asking that it has not been assigned a first footprint so we have to choose one now 
so we have yeah we have a uh, model over here we will select this and uh, place it over here so actually we will place all the components so now we have uh, placed these two components actually we should start first with uh, constraining ourselves to a limited area of the PCB we want our PCB to be of a certain size so we will start with a board edge designing a board edge so here 2d box and I consider that my PCB can be suppose of uh, maximum this length so this was different mode uh, I again select the board edge and then this and then I design the board edge yeah so it comes in yellow color the board edge now we return to our normal mode and again to the component mode to select the components so first of all we are going to place the connector so connector can be on any one of the corners or anywhere you would like and we can also rotate it using right click so you can see the connections are going crisscross to, to that rejectifier so I'll rotate it 180 degree again so yeah now this is better I'll place it in the middle just for our demo our design purpose so that it comes easy for us to actually place them and connect them so I'll place this one a little closer to it and the next is actually capacitor mm, yes this is okay and after the capacitor we have 7805 so 7805 over here and then I'll place this tower a little far so that we can also accommodate the other capacitor here we go and then the resistor yeah so we have everything in line and the PCB actually is certainly uh, larger than the size that I want so I can reduce it yeah so this is a very simple design and we have everything accommodated in a single line we can compact this very much but for demonstration we are using the entire space so now let us actually go and draw the tracks so this is the track mode and uh, actually we will connect it wherever the connection is it's showing so here are the first connection this is the second and then it's pointing over here this one over here then this one is going to this and uh, the ground connection then the output and the ground continues and then this one to the resistor and the ground, ground. and this one is the diode so actually we did after the schematic was done this well, this was done very quickly just because there were virtual connections being showed and uh, just the job was to just to click from this to this terminal and the track was made so in this way the PCB is made and uh, the size actually we can see is again more than what we want so we can what just do is reduce the size so that the PCB we use is of optimum size and uh, yeah so this is a small strip of 5 volt power supply also we can label it using the text mode 
and uh, here it will ask so we will write it's a 5 volt power supply 5 volt power supply so it, it comes here and we can drag this and place it over here so that it's clearly visible also if we need now to take an output from this 5 volt a 5 volt output so we need to add an another connector over here that will give a 5 volt dc output so what we'll do is again go back to the schematic and add a connector actually over here so in the component mode we will have this connector over here and just connect it on the 5 volt and the ground side so once we have done this we save so once we have done this we can go to the PCB layout and in the component mode we have this component here and place it over here we orient it so that the connection is straightforward and now we draw the track here it's connected and now the ground so now we have this strip designed as a 5 volt power supply where the input is actually 12 volt AC from the transformer the transformer will actually step down the 230 volt to 12 volt so the input over here is the output of the transformer 12 volt EC and this system actually gives a output as 5 volt DC with the polarity as plus and minus so actually we can also give a label here so that the user don't get, doesn't get confused while desire while assembling the PCB so what we can do is add another text over here that is plus and minus replace it appropriately so here we have plus and minus so in this way the PCB was pretty simple to make from the schematic to the layout and in this way our layout is designed so this way this is how we design a pcb thank you